sometimes less really is more. That certainly applies to low-dose CT scans. Any type of X-ray radiation, even the smallest dose, carries a very small risk. And so when you multiply that over millions of people, that risk is real and results in several um, radiation-induced cancers. Over the past few decades, the amount of radiation emitted during even the standard CT scan is between 20 and 30 percent lower. With new technology, a single machine can deliver various doses, depending on the patient and procedure. You can set within some degrees the amount of radiation exposure. Correct, yeah. Well, we go through, uh, there was a, a long process deciding with each and every scan that we do exactly how much radiation we're going to be using and how much of the new software available to us that we're going to be using in order to try and maintain the same amount of image quality but decrease the dose. Low-dose scanners combine the best of both worlds, providing detailed images while managing to lower the amount of radiation. It's especially important when it comes to children who are more sensitive than adults. There's been a big push to use what we call a pediatric dose for pediatric scanning. With our new generation of scanners now, it allows us to lower that dose approximately another 15 to 30 percent. Exploring the body with minimal risk to the patient makes low-dose scanners a screening super sleuth. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.